You want more of my comedy, cause it gets rid of your allergy. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Ready? Sure. You want yeah. Boom, chakalaka, meet up on the team, aka Mr. Grind on Stop. Keep watching your Casa TV. Peace and love. Boom. <laughs> It's all about music, it's all about entertainment, lifestyle, celebrities, the artists, actors. We talk entertainment at large for you at home there to enjoy. This is Yekasa TV. Uh, my name is Jabril, a.k.a. Facebook Assemblyman. Today I have a fine gentleman. Uh, he's been in the scenes for a while and he's making waves. When, when I say he's making waves, I'm talking about his music. Uh, he recently released a tape which uh, we'll talk about that when, when he comes on sit, uh, to sit with me here. His name is Rafael Camido, and uh, I'll go on a quick turn. When I come back, I'll introduce my guest, and we'll have a lengthy chat. Stay tuned. This is Yekasa TV. And please, subscribe to the channel as well as go on Instagram and follow us at Yekasa TV. The Yekasa TV is Y-E-K-A-S-A TV. Stay tuned. I'll be back. I have here with me uh, Camido, uh, officially Rafael Camido, who would want to delve into his career and his, uh, his lifestyle. Thank you for having me, bro. Peace and love, man. Thank you for coming through. Um, the first time I heard of Camido was uh, on George Britton's timeline. And, yeah. and I know George Britton to be uh, an artist manager. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about that for a while. How did you get to meet George Britton and, you know, decided or agreed that you were going to have a, a deal so that you manage? Well, um, while I was in uni, back in uni, um, University of Professional Studies, there was this friend of mine called Babilo. Big shout out to him. Like, he was working with, he's been working with um, George Britton. So then, at that time, I was telling him, guy, I, I need to work with this your man because I love his vibe, you know, the way he's, the way he carries himself and, and, and stuff like that. I was just feeling him on a low and I was talking to Babilo. So then we've been working on that type of, um, that relationship for a while, for a very long time, you know, and, and, and I guess this, this is the right time that um, we join forces and work together. So, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll come back to that side yeah. of it. Rafael Camido, yeah. give me a brief history about you and your educational background and how you got into the music scene. Uh, we are long. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Rafael Camido. I'm a, I'm an R&B art, um, R&B Afro pop artist. Um, I started way back in 2008. Yes, when I was in Bishop Herman College, I met a colleague of mine in school, and then we decided to team up and become a group, okay. chasing music professionally from that time, and then um, yeah, breaking into the mainstream um, industry in 2016. Yeah, then um, in 2017, December, we broke, I broke away from the group to start a solo um, career. Mm. And then, yeah, man. Group now, phone. Uh, group no, I said, then should I, you know, not yen, you know, yen, not yen, page back also, you know, because it's like I was on this page and then you'd have to open over before, <laughs> turn over before you see my colleagues, so it was like that. So, so you realize you, you, you realize you just had to move yes, on? Yes, yes, yes. We just had to move on and, and do it at our own convenience. Do you understand? Yeah. And also with my um, educational background, like I said, I studied marketing in University of Professional Studies. That's like my latest. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the music career. You've come into the scene. You've made a hit or two. Um, that, that, that will not run away from the fact that you have a, a very big song with uh, Daco vibes, Daco right? Vibes. And then exactly. Calvin Boy, and then your new one, Maria. Yep. How, has, how, how do you think, or do you think the industry is, is accepting you as f within this short while? Yeah, um, well, that is a very sensitive um, topic, you know, because uh, 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 Camilo say the industry doesn't show him love and all of that. But I think that Ghana... It's a little bit um, slower with regards to receiving new artists into mainstream. You know, we're a little bit like too laid back with stuff like that. But um, glory be to God, I've been shown um, so much love and people understand and love my sound. You know, so um, I think that it's, it's been it's been it's been um, it's been 80 percent love from the industry. So I'm appreciative of it. 
back to the George Britain agreement. Is this a, a managerial deal you signed with him or a record label deal? That's a man. It's a managerial deal. Okay. Yes, yeah, a managerial deal. How have you guys decided to structure stuff? Is it uh, based on percentages or how? How is it going to work it's with you? It's pretty much like non-disclosure. like non-disclosure. So I, I I can't come and sit here and you know expose everything or the details of the contract. And but now what you need to know is that um, Judge Britain is officially my manager, my business manager. So yes, Anuna. <laughs> so so far, um, you've released um, a song with Daco Vibe, yep. Calvin, Calvin Boy, yep. um, Medical, Medical yep. uh, then Maria, yep. then your new tape. Let's talk yep. about the new tape. How many songs are on the new tape? Six. Six songs. Six, yes. um, give me like three or four titles of the song. I have Find Me, I have Middle Blues, I have TikTok, I have Maria, I have um, How Did You. Yeah. Um, you've released Maria out of the tape, right? Yep. You, you, it's, it's kind of like a solo thing you've done. Why did you decide to go that way? Yeah, because that was not the plan. And that's like, that, the name explains it. Contingency plan is like a backup plan. Do you understand? That was not the original plan. Mm. The original plan was to come out with an album. Okay. Yeah, I was really going to just put out the album. And the album was going to have other artists on it? Yes, basically the album, we have a lot of features on the album. Both Ghana and Nigeria and then um, Africa, basically. Yeah. So this that means that the the, the contingency plan that you you just brought out, uh, most of the songs were going to be on the album. No, 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 no. So contingency plan. My main church, my main church, my So the contingency plan. Um, I hope you don't mind me speaking chi or mixing it up, right? The contingency plan is like something that came up at the latter part, somewhere um April, me free London by and I um I went on tour, media tour in London. In the corona, you know, everything started happening like that. It was, and I came back and I was under mandatory quarantine. And I was in so dropping album yeah. in that time. You know, and then, like, as a new artist, I had an MFA. And I had a bit of beans. What's that? Yeah. Stoneboy, I'm going to strength. You know, I'm going to push it through that type of uh, situation. You know, so when he dropped his album, Around that time, it still it still made sense. Yeah. Uh huh. But the new artists, no, a bear beans. Yeah. Uh huh. And you know, we decided to quickly record um contingency plan as a backup plan to keep my people together. You know, my fans and the little people or the very little handful of people that believe in my sound. You know, what yes, yeah. So it was going to be a quick project to just put out for the people, and, and then when we when things ease up, no, now yeah, drop the album. No? But then again, I realized that. As a guy, as an artist, like I pretty much am um, like a perfectionist. And you know, make I say, oh, wait a quick, 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 fast, fast, fast. But Uncle like you're spending like almost three months on the project. You know, we started treating it like an album. And you know, that was the reason why we did contingency plan. And you know, and you know, yeah, yeah, features be I was because around that time, so now we'll be our lockdown. What yeah, and I'm a producer, it was around it was over FaceTime. We recorded and wrote the songs over FaceTime. Do you remember how many shows you've been on? Or I mean, uh, platforms you've been on to perform on stage with other artists and you know to entertain your fans. Dabi, I can't tell you. Uh, I can't. I can I can't mention the number. But I've been on a couple. Ah, me need you So which of which of them do would you say that every day the, the people really cheered me up and I really appreciate that um, effort. Um, big shout out to City FM, City TV for um, um, December to remember. No, it was a beautiful. It was one of like the greatest stage. That was last year. Uh, yes, last year, December. Yeah. Um, you know, my client be up for me. I really, really enjoyed myself. Around that time, it's when not, um, I had um, some type of infection in my throat. Okay. So to be able to push through that and still get the love, you know, it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed it. I honestly did enjoy that. And then the Rapaholic too. Rapaholic, yes. I remember I saw you. Yeah. The city, December to remember. Sika Kakrabiba. Oh, yes. Definitely. Sika Baya. Ejimane, say Ejimane, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, so when, when we talk about Kamido and stage performance, someone is watching out there, maybe in Wa, an event organizer, he wants to put Kamido on his show. Yeah. Approximately, how much is he supposed to, you know, put together before he'll be able to have yeah. Um I know that we have to we have to go through Judge Britain, you know, but if I have to really give you a clue, um you have to be around ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand. But I think it depends on the show, you know. Sometimes now like one, two, three songs, yeah, you know. You might be able to get me for like maybe 10 and but if it's like something that i have to do a lot of songs and you know live band a lot of things come into play and then you know not build not 
cost you kakra, but I think I'm very affordable. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's talk about you <clears throat> and um, you are coming up. I mean, you you you've met people, uh, the Calvin boys, yeah. the Daco vibes, and all those. Who do you think have shown you real love that you feel like, with yeah, he has he has given me that or she has given me that uh, sibling kind of relationship? Yeah. Um, Calvin boy. Yeah, Kelvin Boy has really, really been like, he, like, I met him and he's just been like a brother to me, you know? Even when I was in London, you know, um, I had to, like, because of the relationship that we have, I had to move from my hotel to his hotel. Yeah, at the point, I stayed in the same hotel with him before I moved because, like, he, he was like, bro, who are in Charlie? Ah, Brian Chena, you know, let's all be together. So I, I feel like he has been a brother to me. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie. You know, he's, he has been one of the artists that has really shown me. So, meaning, since you, you're closer to Kelvin Boy, when you heard the issue of his attack at the Ashaman, something, something, how did you feel? Well, um, I, I texted him. I texted him and I asked him, bro, I, had, I just saw this on the news and I hope that you're fine. I said, oh, he's all right. You know, so he's fine. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I didn't really go into details with him. And, you know, and I, I think I've, I've also been following Stone Boy. He's like a godfather. I've really been learning from him. And, and I didn't think that he would, you know, orchestrate a thing like that. So I didn't want to go into it to even go and, go and ask because I know these people. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. when it's the media, yeah, yeah, but media has the ability to escalate things and, you know, tweak things the way that would get people's mind crazy. So, yeah. If um, someone out there is watching you, the moment I hear Camido, what should come into the mind? The moment you hear Camido, like, like good music should come from um, personality. I, I'm not the type, I don't want to be associated with violence or, you know, brouhaha, brouhaha, beans, nyadia, you know. And I don't want to be associated with anything like that. When Camilo comes into your mind, you should think about a very excellent, like, top class, bro. Yeah. We, we kind of uh, sit in a situation where Nigerians are taking our food beats to the world yeah. and it's more of like as a yewo I won't think a yewo dem ka cry yenyem pay because um yes we've gotten people go to the beats for us but they didn't stand with the afro afro beats yeah. side of it originally people say that oh afro beats free ghana afro beats free ghana do you think that there will be a day that someone or one of you the new guys would be able to push us to that stage, not even uh, uh, only the BET, but the Grammy. Mm. Well, um, we will make the music, right? But I think that it has to do with the support. Like, Cecilia, no, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nibe, Raga, Nanaka, say, Charlie, who the top right now? You know? And then, all bef once you get into Ghana, you, it's like, there's this sound. You are hearing, like, Ghanaians. Why are Ghanaians always making noise? And hey, Nigerians almost support you on Muhu. Because when you go to Nigeria, like, the, the least place you enter, it be Nigerian music. Yeah. And they kind of like, they make you feel like their music you know, is too superior. Mm. You know? So I think it has to do with the support. Like with the way I multi club, I say, Chale, I mean, but. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? So in Ghana, you know, if we are able to inculcate that type of lifestyle and we're doing more of that, I'm not saying that we don't do it, but if, I, if we are able to like double what we do for Ghana music, you know, the outside world will hear us. Let me give you an example, right? If you're passing by and then, like, a village, no one say, Omubo and Yumbi like, Debiano and Arjuno, they are always playing music. You are going to know them for playing that kind of music. What you say. And every time you're passing, hey, Charlie, this is full and they love music. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, if we keep making the noise or, like, you know, the vibes, spreading the vibes of our own music, no, the outside world will hear us. And then that is when they can come and say, hey, this guy is really like, Popping from Ghana, BET is popping from Ghana, Grammys popping from Ghana, you know. And yes, she it's not, it's, it's nothing. It's just, you know, we just need to push up. Um, I I have read a little bit about this whole Grammy stuff, BET stuff, and it it all boils down to the way things are being structured from the entertainment industry. Um, you've come into the scene. Do you think that structures are there for us to follow and be able to push? give that support to you guys to go there? Well, I've always, like, the reason why I love George Britain is that I've always been, like, talking to George Britain, and then we are always brainstorming and trying to find new ways of doing stuff, you know? It's always you, like, shine. You are the person, not where you are. It is who you are, right? So, 
Stoneboy has been able to be, re be recognized at the Grammys, at the BETs, where there was still the same structures in this Ghana here. Do you understand? So it means that as an artist, Camido can also still be recognized at the BETs, the Grammys, and wherever, the MTVs, if I work hard. So if you know, I don't think that the structures are strong enough to hold us back. Like the, the, the instability of the structures or like improper setup of the structures. No, I don't think that they, they go a long way to hold us back from entering into these or breaking these boundaries. What am I saying? Yes. yes. So. Boys, boys, you are not a big star. Oh, yeah. Do you have any issues with people that are, that are closer to you? Because I've heard stories that, oh, the moment you start hitting the studios and you're making hits, people, people around you start feeling some tensive way of something. Like, do you have that complaints around you? Well, um, and really, you can't take it away from the stardom. You will hear stuff like that. But it's also like I always tell like some friends of mine, I'm like, if you always check up on me, then you'll be on my radar. I can't wake up in the morning and be chatting with 50 people at the go. There's always going to be a circle. And if you are the one that is always like, you know, concerned about me, that means that you'll be in my circle. What am I say? Uh -huh. Then if you're outside the circle also, no, you have to understand that you're outside the circle. You're not too close to me or you don't, you don't holler me too much. And, you, know, you will not be immediately on my mind. Then she say your unya ma downfall. What he has here. So people have to understand that this this is what it comes with. Uh-huh. And so guy we know fame and after there was that is our train. Ben kakra. Fanica sakakra. You know? Now then who say, oh guy we know say no tea and not say and yes say no tea. You know, so it has to do with your relationship with the person. In media, I haven't really had that situation. I haven't had it. Yeah. We hear Obi Bini says he's the mouth seven king. You hear the Sakode say he's the king of Tema. You hear Shetawali saying he's the king of Nima. So, so, so. Kamido, where do you rep? Well, I rep Madina because <laughs> I stayed in Madina for a very, very, very long time. Even if I move around still, like Madina, now nah, nah, I'm a studio, no what. But um, yeah, eh, eh, it's, right now it's the globalization. You know, and see, I was say a call outside of the world so um i rep ghana what's your answer yeah do you with your your new tape uh, six songs on it where do you want to see it go from here um well the the, the marketing strategy is being designed or programmed by george britain and the team and we're looking at hitting the world because you won't say like if we focus too much, I'm not saying if we focus too much on trying to um, um, market here in Ghana, no, yes, answer, Nasi Kanemba, on say Ghana, yeah, shada needs that streaming, um, you know, to be able to make money from our local platforms, no, and shada and yes, yes, strong. And today, I say, NSA, we're trying to promote the music like on these platforms, I bet to me, I then to be able to get back. So that we can be able to put back into the music what yes yeah but then the relationship with the local industry and so we are building that what is because me mean shut and catchy and i say you know local too much yeah now brother 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 incident after now me me baba me who say you be rara local local vibes what is here oh there's all good local local after the best chance here me baba got a credit card now many you know boys nene kika kika yeah wallet <laughs> um, <laughs> you you look at um, artists and you know the way they relate with fans. Mm. How do you want your fans to be able to to vibe with you? Oh, my fans should be able to reach out to me via DMs. Like, don't feel like oh, guy, we be texting. I don't reply. Then, me who pet, I reply you. I like some like usually don't me sorry. I go into my Instagram um, request. Sometimes no, not yet too overwhelming. Into no one to me replying in your na, but I try as much as possible. Said like at least 10, 20 answer na may me devotion in yama yama no. Like I try to just reach out to some people, you know, read some messages. Charlie, we did together, and uh, you have to understand that without the music, no, so no, I'll just be a regular human being. Maybe I'll be pursuing banking or some something, or selling some products. Na me regular human being na me ton yama. Oh, kwa wa na se me ye bi bi into no. The music does not make me too special. Miss me a nipper, usu ye nipper, and you know, feel free. And now you have to understand that 
me and Nipana, me a famous kakra, you have to find an approach. And you see, very important. And you see, I just want my fans to be able to relate with me, but they just have to understand the circumstances in which, you know, things might. So if, if music didn't come your way, um, you, you did business marketing, right? Yeah. Where would you have wanted to push yourself to? Uh, me, no, marketing economy, yeah, and I did it because of the music. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Me, me, you school, like around 2012 or 2011, there about, no, me, you SS, no. To come to university, I told my mom, like, me, but send me year music no, one extra year. So I'm far, now I'm a call university. And when I was about to go to university in Ukraine, well, my mother asked me, into course, Ben, I'm over here. And I'm say, I'm sure that anymore, but for the music's sake, no, I would love to go international. And I would love to know how to market my music and, you know, promote myself in all these areas into the media marketing. So the, the whole music then started f way back after SHS when you were black. Before SHS. Before SHS. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Music started. Uh, hardly would you hear artists. Uh, say that mostly that's the normal story so you know i just have the talent and i want to yeah. move in oh me know like it began time now me you a jhs and i said me want jhs like i think final year something like before i even final year you know me some 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 somewhere around like around after j some some somewhere around that time you no know, me cousin be a friend of anka malko big shout out to my, 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 my big cousin anka malko oh no no i did me cook um cafe no oh also oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, one to one to online now I saw what she computer number called mommy. Now, my mommy Acorn. Into a dear YouTube mommy now, oh boy, Acorn, you know, chairman. You know. Bro, I started feeling Acorn from that time now. Me, your passion is a challenge. I do remember me. I be. Okay. So, let me use this as an opportunity to say this fine gentleman here has a very cool voice. I've, I've listened to him and I'll have to recommend, uh, commend you for that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I said, Don't come on, Uncle Power was wrong. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I'm sure the ladies are also dripping for such voice, right? Oh, yeah, man, the day. Oh, man, the day. Oh, man, the day, bro. Camido, yeah, mm. um, I would want to leave. I want us to end it here. But to you, what would what are you expecting from the fans? What would you want to tell the fans? But before that, um, after you give your expectations. I hope you'll be able to give me a freestyle of any of the tapes on uh, any of the songs of your tape. Sure. So what would you be expecting the fans to give back to you and what should they be expecting from you as well? Well, um, me and you, and, you know, I need your support to be able to climb to that level. What you here? And, you know, follow me on social media, C-A-M-I-D-O-H, Camido, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Reach out to me if you have DMs. Check out my music, Charlie. Tell me what, how you feel. Audio map. And you know that I will be behind I will be behind and you know, go and check it out and just show me all the love and support that I deserve, you know, sincerely. <laughs> yes. Well, you are, you are watching here Casa TV. My name is Jabril, a.k.a. Junior Degree, uh, Facebook Assemblyman. Uh, I'll be ending here, but before we go, we want to entertain you a little bit with uh, Camido's um, free, freestyle. Should yeah, we call yeah, it freestyle? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So stay tuned. Uh, if you don't hear from me again, I'm out. You want more of my comedy, cause it gets rid of your allergy. Yo, 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 yeah, yo, yo, yo. Your leg no fit my wallaby, so you chose to wear Charlie Ote for me, yeah, yeah. Whoa, Charlie, my girl, don't get shame, whoa. OMG, Maria, Oria, oh, eh. Hey. Oh, it be you will bring me blessing. Otto, Otto, you they bring me blessing. Baby, baby, you they bring me blessing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, MG, Maria, Oria. Boom, chakalaka, middle point in AKA Mr. Grind on Stop. Keep watching your Casa TV. Peace and love. Boom. <laughs>